everybody welcome to the podcast this is great uncle car's crew with me boomer and me bimily so we just kind of want to start by introducing our goals with the podcast and just kind of introducing ourselves Mm -hmm. so i guess our our goals are that we have no goals yeah our goals are very loose we're just here to have fun and i guess just ramble just let everything out of our brain spill yeah just kind of like have a space to kind of like share our goofiness maybe just kind of like show friends and things like that Mm -hmm. just entertain people mostly ourselves though i think we're only expecting my brother to be the only viewer so all right so why don't we introduce ourselves boomer why don't you tell us a bit about you so my name is boomer and i am um a person of a certain age that goes to a certain school in a state that is quite large. That is true. Facts. Facts. Um, I I have a dog. His name's Odin. He's pretty cool. And um, I I like to I like to draw and paint and play piano. Yeah. And you're very talented. Thank you. Of course. And I also um, know somebody named Bimily who should also introduce themselves. Okay, my name is Bimily. Um, My main goals in life are to create a boomer fan club. (laughs) Um, (laughs) It's horrible. (laughs) My favorite hobbies are um, talking about how awesome boomer is. No, okay, let me see. I have... Someone's obsessed with me. Yes, I think we need to get a restraining order or something. Should. But, um, I have two ferrets, not parrots, like in the bird, ferrets, you know, like the furry cat snakes. They're very cute, very cute. Uh, their names are Grady and Kai. Um, what else? I, I don't know, I really like drawing and painting and singing, and I've been writing a story. I've, like, 30 pages so far so i have a long way to go but at the same time like you already got so far it's the most i've ever written before you know it's it's an achievement yes uh yeah shout out to my story um it's called the world we once knew it's yeah guys this is an advertisement okay so many ads in this video yeah lots and lots of ads okay it's called the world we once knew it's about a post-apocalyptic world um, there's an atomic war that happens, and this is a hundred years after that, and we meet a school full of students that are learning to create a new government, and we find out what happens when a new government is being created in a world that does not trust anyone in power. So, yeah. Wow. Advertisement! That sounds like our society. Um, I have a husband. His name is Banana Boy. Um, and he's, he's somewhere, somewhere. Okay, so I know we kind of have a ridiculous podcast name. I mean, amazing, beautiful, <laughs> gorgeous. Yep, definitely normal. Um, but let's tell you about Great Uncle Carr. Yeah, what is up with this guy? So, Great Uncle Carr was born in 1886. He was always, um, unique. A little bit of a strange one, but... He was stupid. Yeah, yeah, he was stupid. But, um, that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but anyways, whenever he was younger, he meets this girl named Sally Smith. She lived next door to him, and they became really good friends. Great Uncle Carr would go over to her house all the time and bring all of his shark stuffed animals, and he'd tell her all about sharks and how amazing they are and how one day he wants to go and be with sharks. If you didn't know, he is, um, obsessed with sharks. Yes, to put it lightly, to put it gently. He had a huge crush on them, I think. Yeah, or something. I don't know if he necessarily liked them or just hated them. I don't know what his emotions are, but uh, he feels strongly about them (laughs) in some sort of way. Yes. And so, anyways, he decides to enlist in the war, goes out to World War I, um... And anyways, he's he's having a nice time, you know, he's a little sad. Until he gets shot in the head. Yeah, until he gets oh, shot in the head. Oh, no. Uh, he kind of just gets, like, shot in the face. 
And everyone starts freaking out. And they kind of just, like, leave him there because they think he's dead. But then he just kind of gets up and he's like, oh, where are we going next? And everyone just kind of starts screaming. And so they, t- t- nonetheless, they uh, they definitely sent him home. But yeah. um, honestly, he was fine. So I don't know why they did. But he became stupider, though. He became much stupider. And so he came home to his love, Sally. And they continued their life together. He, he would tell her all about sharks and how much he loved them. But one day, things took a turn for the worse. They both just got fed up with each other. Sally threw out um, Great Uncle Carter's most prized possession, a, um, a shark spear for spearing sharks. I think that day is when he broke a little. He snapped. He broke even more than when he got shot in the face. Dang. And so he he just, he kind of lost it a little bit, and he took it out on her. And he, he threw all of her, all of her candles in a dumpster. <laughs> so, you know, Sally kicked him out, of course, and he uh, sneaked away with some candles and continued to burn them. But he decided that he needed to start a new life and do what he had always wanted to do: spear sharks. So he built a raft, and he set sail like. Five feet off of the beach. Mm. In the deep waters. And he killed many sharks. He speared them all day long and all night long. But then one night, whenever he came back onto shore to start a fire and cook up some shark, he uh, accidentally... Speared himself on a foot with his rusty harpoon. Yeah. And, you know, it wasn't a very big in- injury. It was more of like a little scratch on his foot. But uh, he developed tetanus and died. What a loser. Dying from tetanus. Yeah, what the heck. It's, it's not the shot that killed him. It's it's not, you know, the broken heart of his spear being broken. It was the tetanus. Yeah. And this is why Great Uncle Carr should be admired. And we are so proud to have him as one of our ancestors. Yes. We love him so much, and we want to continue on his legacy. And so we developed this podcast. This is for you, even though we said this was our creative outlet earlier. <laughs> Yeah, we love you so much, even though you're so stupid. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to answer some fun questions so you guys can get to know our opinions and how we are, I guess. So, um, first question. A little controversial. Is cereal a soup? Um, yes. Yes? I think it depends on what you classify it as, but if I were to explain what soup is, it'd be some food slurping around swishing around in some liquid you know and that's what cereal is it's just you know it's cereal what about you do you think cereal is a soup i think cereal is a soup just because i like the fact that cereal can be a soup i still feel confused though on the fact that not all soups are hot that that seems really weird to me cold soup so you know if all soups were warm then i would not count cereal as a soup but since there's gazpacho yeah gazpacho something like that yeah then then i guess um my whole life has been a lie all right question number two boomer what is the worst movie you've ever seen the worst movie is boss baby the fact that a baby is in the movie is so bad enough but you know it's it's just icky it makes me uncomfortable because i just don't i just it's so horrible, I can't go into how, like, horrible it is. No, that's fair. Boss Baby's, um, Boss Baby. So, <laughs> enough said on that. I don't even know how they got a second movie and a show. I know. I've not watched the show, but I already know it's just... It I don't stupid. know. I don't get why they have to make, like, little shows on all of these movies. Although, I did like the Kung Fu Panda show that they mm-hmm. made. I used to watch that all the time, so I think that's the only one that's actually been good. Mm-hmm. Or I was just really bored. Um... So, I think the worst movie is this movie called Happily. Don't ever watch it. It's really stupid. Um, everything about it is stupid. My husband and I got it um, on sale. And so, we were like, oh, let's just try it out. It was horrible. We literally set the de- disc on fire because it's so <laughs> bad. 
it's so bad. So I just have a photo of this like disc that we cut up and set on fire. <laughs> and um, Boomer was uh, looking through my photos and was like, what the heck is this photo? And I was like, it's happily. That's what it is. And <laughs> that was enough said. Boomer knew exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Are you ready? No. Yeah. Okay. We'll wait till you are. Okay, I think I'm ready now. All right. What is one dumb accomplishment that you are the most proud of? Okay, I don't know if this counts as an accomplishment, but uh, I jumped in a pool once and I was fully clothed. And like by fully clothed, I don't mean like swimsuit. I mean like gym shorts, random school t-shirts. And I hopped on in. And then I remembered that I was making ramen. And so they brought out the ramen to me and there's just a photo on their phones of me in gym shorts and school t-shirt sitting in the pool eating ramen out of the pot so that photo is my greatest accomplishment yes what about you boomer uh well this is kind of like a little cheating because it's kind of multiple since i did this multiple times <laughs> That's fair. but it's just when i draw something really cursed or stupid like it's, so every day yeah yeah <laughs> okay yeah but um like sometimes it's just especially better than the last time like um i hmm i think a specific time like okay in culinary we have this whiteboard and sometimes the teacher will let us draw on it and i just draw like stupid stuff with like sharp cheekbones and thick lips (laughs) with like the fattest bodies in the world and it's so stupid and it's fantastic and everyone loves me it's the only time people give me attention and so I, I cherish those moments that the first time I ever did it was probably my my dumb accomplishment I like that it's, it's a good accomplishment I like looking at your drawings Thank especially you. the horrible ones <laughs> oh, thanks I guess okay well speaking of drawing what is the most frustrating thing to draw most frustrating thing to draw um toes mm-hmm. I hate looking at them and they're just nasty. Their toes. And they're they're like short, stubby fingers that are gross. I feel like I know how to draw them if they're like on their like toes, you know? Mm-hmm. Like in weird positions, but I have no idea how to draw them normally, if yeah. that makes any sense. Like, I have no idea. Like flat? Yeah, if they're flat, how, like maybe if it's from a side profile, mm-hmm. but like. Your feet in the front. It just, it looks weird. Feet and shoes in the front are kind of hard no shoes from the front are so hard i always just like draw a circle and i'm like that's good enough (laughs) yeah i i think for me i really i don't know it's just like hard drawing full bodies sometimes Mm -hmm. for me i just feel like i draw everybody in the same position all the time and so i really want to get better at drawing people in different positions and i want to get better at drawing hands of course Mm because hands suck they always suck no they're, matter how good you get get at them. And, like, there's so many different positions they can be in. It's just so frustrating, and it just sucks. Mm. All right. What is an underrated show? Okay. I don't know if this is actually underrated, because I've not looked at the fan base at all. So I'm, I'm sure it's popular, but um, it's called it's okay to not be okay and it's like a k-drama and it's so good i really like it because it's a murder mystery and i love murder mysteries um it talks a lot about mental and physical health problems and i am very involved in that i'm going to school for psychology and i just really like the main character she's just such a strong woman and she's just so entertaining to watch Mm. especially like when she's threatening people I, I she's love just strong woman. I think you would love her. <laughs> you would love her. There's like this one time that this guy is being annoying and she just kind of pushes him down the stairs. Yeah, we don't talk about that. It's fine. Very yeah, very seems normal. But I just I really really enjoy it. There's also romance, mm-hmm. but it's not exactly what you'd expect. And then I also like that whenever they're telling stories, sometimes the art style will change. You know, mm-hmm. and so uh, I showed Boomer this. And I don't know if it's animated or stop motion, but I just, I love that it has a different style every once in a while to tell, like, fairy tales. Mm-hmm. And so, I love it. What about you? 
Um, well, I don't think it's really that underrated, because recently the show kind of blew up, but, um, it's called Moral Oral, and it's, it's a stop-motion series, and it focuses on, like, um, kind of, like, darker topics, and it gets really heavy towards the end of it, but it's really consistent with, like, a very like, childlike, happy style for the most part of it. So, like, most of it kind of, like, hits you at the end. Hmm. And so it's really... I think it's really interesting, and it can be really funny. I so like, it, like, funny builds stuff. up really well? Yeah. And all the characters are really complex. I love that. Yeah. And it really sucks sometimes because your favorite character is just, like, an a-hole t- at the end. And mm. nobody is good in the show. Like, there's, like, two people. And... Oh. That's yeah. why it's rough. You, like, want to root for the main character, but the main character sucks. I know. And so it's like, I want good things to happen to you, but you're not good. I hate when shows do that. It's like, just let me like people. I feel like, have you seen that show or heard about the show You? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's such a good example of it. It's like, mm-hmm. he is so toxic and he's murdering these people, but you still want to root for him, you know? <laughs> you still want him to get that happily ever after, even though he is not a good person and he's doing very wrong things i don't know man i always root for the murderer that's fair i do too (laughs) i still think the joker is my favorite favorite villain ever Mm -hmm. i know it's basic but he's just so good so entertaining to watch yes okay so uh, this question (laughs) sucks no it doesn't it does suck okay boomer came up with this not me okay (laughs) What is your favorite candle scent? Vanilla. Vanilla bean. Anything vanilla. It's so good. I, okay. I just, <laughs> I don't get how you just have an immediate answer for this. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's because I only get those candles. Like that yes. and like mango because it's just so good. I, I smell them all, right? But vanilla always wins. Have you never been candle sniffing before? Of course I've been candle sniffing, and every single time I get a different candle. So how could I know? Because every single time it's like, oh, this one smells really good. And it always has some weird name. Like, okay, listen. It's always like waterfall <laughs> of leaves. Well, since you're so adventurous, you should have one picked out because you know so many. I... I, I don't know. Ma- okay, fine. <laughs> My favorite candle scent is the Levi candle. No, oh, There no. is, like, a company or business or whatever that makes candles that are scented like anime characters. And my hubby, he got me one that is Levi scented. And um, I really don't feel like it's accurate, but it's still amazing. I, I really feel like it should smell like blood. And instead it smells like flowers. So maybe it's him whenever he's cleaning. He does love that, but yeah, fine. Levi is my favorite scent. You just made this question my least favorite question. Well, you know what? You made it mine too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was already started off as yours. <laughs> well, let's move on. You just ruined everything. I hate you're, this podcast. You're welcome. I'm unsubscribing. This podcast is actually just an argument between me and Boomer for the yeah. rest of time. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What what color are specific numbers? So just like. When you say a number, what color is that number in your head? Okay. Speed round. Um, three. Three is, like, red. Three? Oh, now it's red because my phone is red. Ha, and I looked ha, at ha. it. Oh, no, it was blue earlier. Yeah, I can confirm. She said blue earlier when we were writing the question. Now I can only see it. Well, I can see it as both now. Maybe it's purple. Okay, what is four? Four. Four is yellow. I see four is blue. I can't believe you're so wrong about things. <laughs> I can't believe you're so wrong about it. Banana boy, what color is four? What color is four? I don't think he wants to see. Okay, silence is apparently the color of it. Four is invisible. I don't think he knows how to count. I don't think he knows how to count either. It's okay, I don't know. Yeah, but it's counting. Okay, what color is the number eight? yellow purple purple yeah you actually think of numbers that are not red uh or yellow or blue blue. (laughs) yeah i feel like it's only primary colors i feel like it's either purple or blue so maybe blue oh that's fine about nine nine is red for sure see nine is blue why are we like total opposites like ten 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 is yellow ten is blue what the heck? So whenever I have a warm color, you have a cool color. Whenever you have a cool color, I have a warm color. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about like bigger numbers? What color is is twenty? Twenty. Twenty is yellow. Twenty is red. So at least we're more similar that time. Well, it's still different. It is still different. I'll never accept you since you don't believe the same color as I do. I think you're just you're just straight up wrong. <laughs> You need to go back to kindergarten and learn the proper colors for numbers. We need to Jeez. look up numbers online and figure out which one of us is wrong. <laughs> okay. Not right now, though. Good. We'll tell you in a future video. Or one of you guys look it up and let us know. Okay. Um, so, let's talk about this very fascinating concept of you just know what something's going to feel like on your tongue. Isn't this supposed to be a question? It is a... Well, I don't think you it's... You say it as a statement. I did put it as a statement, because what question could you have with that? Okay, you just point okay, at something. Okay, what does what the wall taste like? What does it feel like on your tongue? I'm going to take a picture of the wall so we can see. This wall will feel bumpy, I think. It feels chalky. Yeah, I can, I can feel I think I would like to take a bite out of it, but also it would hurt my teeth. That's fair. But I feel like my teeth, like, splitting open will feel kind of funny, so, like, I, I would still want to do it. Okay, some, here's something universal. What would a paper towel feel like paper on your tongue? paper towel? Like, uh, soggy, I guess. I, f- I would like to, like, get it in there, right? And, like, so the, all the water, whatever. Yeah, oh, no, no. Oh, are we talking about a dry paper towel? Yeah, a dry paper oh. towel. <laughs> oh, I say paper towel. I think of one that's, like, soaked in water. What? I was just thinking about, like, a normal paper towel. I feel like, like a it tastes like person. eating cotton. It's like... <laughs> I feel like it would just taste really dry and very unsatisfying. It, or not taste, it would feel very... Ugh. Did you eat paper as a kid? Yes. I ate paper as a kid. Paper is good. Oh my gosh. My friends had this whole idea, okay? And what we would do is we'd get a piece of paper mm-hmm. and we'd like put it, cut it into small pieces and we'd draw something on it. And so oh. we draw like a piece of pizza. <laughs> and we put the yellow and the red oh, and everything. No. And then... <laughs> It gets crazier. Uh-huh. Please tell me someone else has done this, because this is crazy. We would get our lava lamps, and we'd take <laughs> off the lava part, and we'd put the piece of pizza or whatever we drew, and we'd put it on the light bulb, and then put the top part of the lava lamp back on, and we'd cook the pizza. <laughs> and then once we were done, we'd put it in our mouths. I don't think I ever ate it, but I do think my friends did. Oh. I'm not positive. Your friends are poisoned. My, my friends are like the smartest people too they're the coolest like the friend i'm thinking about their family is perfect they're the most perfect family i've ever met so i think i should have eaten that paper you should have maybe it would have made me all perfect (laughs) although i don't think that's possible since i am related to great uncle Carr. yeah yeah am i the only one that did that i think you are it's It's straight up paper you just yeah, at least we were good. creative about it. Oh, Gee, We cooked it on us. This is a poison myself. That's true. Like, you put in lava lamp stuff, too. Well, we put it on the light bulb that's in between fair. the glass and... Yeah, you know, that's fair. That's fair. So I've been poisoned. Yeah. You can clickbait this. And family's been poisoned. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We should clickbait that. But, like, a... Oh, wait, no one knows what I look like. I'll just put my drawing of myself. Like, with X's across the eyes? Yes, X's across the eyes, and then put a photo of lava lamp. Lava lamps are evil. Burn them all. Well, now you know the thumbnail and why it's there. Yeah. We gotta figure out how to make a thumbnail. We'll just draw a picture. Yeah, we'll just draw a picture. Yeah, I think we can end this section now. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so that's the end of our questions. Um, hopefully you know us slightly better. You, you know whether you like us or hate us and we'll become our haters and we'll leave. Yeah, please be our haters. Write a diss track. Do it now. Right now. Or if you like us, you should leave some more questions down below on, you know, in the comments what you would um, like to hear from us. You know, maybe our deepest, darkest secrets or where we were last Thursday afternoon at 4.05 p.m. Why my bot closet smells like something's rotting in it. Definitely not a body. Definitely not. The purchases of air freshener and freshening products on my, on my so money buying history. Yes, how I am now ordering um, all of my, like, I, I got this awesome pair of sweatpants and I love it so much that I'm going to get it in all the different colors. So oh. I finally got my new ones in <laughs> the mail today. Oh. And so now I have gray and black sweatpants of the same because they're, they're so comfy and they don't make my butt itchy. So nice. congrats to that. But yeah, just 
Put any questions you have in the comments, and we'll get around to them unless they're stupid, like my face. Uh, so, yeah. Ooh, burn. Okay. So, yeah. Bye! Oh, cool, guys, what's up? It is me, Bimily. So, next part of our... Or next half, I guess, of our podcast is going to be a little bit more visual. I still think you can kind of get away with not watching it, but um, yeah, I just want to give you a heads up. So let's move on to our product review. So today we're doing a marker review for markers based on smoothness, blend, smudge, smell, design, and overall satisfaction. What's up guys, it's your girl Bimily. We are reviewing a Sharpie. So here's the smoothness, uh, it's a two. It was pretty lame. All right, here's the bleed. Um, this thing bleeds more than anything else in the entire world, even me on my period. <laughs> Anyways, see that bleed? Lame, lame. That is a, what did I write again? Like a zero? Did I give it a zero? No, I give it a one. It deserves a zero. Let's smudge this thing. Okay, it, it wasn't that bad, but like, it's smudged, so, uh, lame! You get a three. Okay, let's smell this thing. Let's sniff this Sharpie. What do you think, Marijuana Pepper Jackson? What do you think about it? Huh? He thinks it's good. Yeah, got that good sniffs. Good smells. So, we're gonna give that a, um, why do I take so long to draw? What am I doing? What am I doing with my hand? Five! Woo! That was good. Okay, let's look at the design. Ooh, it's so fancy. Beautiful Sharpie. Gorgeous! This is actually a Sharpie advertisement. Thank you for joining in. Uh, the design is actually... It's kind of basic. Maybe because I draw with Sharpies all the time. So, uh, three. So, let's look at the overall satisfaction. Overall satisfaction. Do, 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 do. Why am I taking so long to write down? Goodness, math. What the heck is math anyways? It's a 14, so yeah. Okay guys, now we're reviewing this weird highlighter thing, but we put it in the wrong place, but it's a highlighter, we promise. So the smoothest was pretty. It was fantastic. It was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a four. Okay, now the bleed. Wow. Um, I mean, um, let's flip it over. Bleed doesn't even there beautiful but it's only a four even though there's nothing we're critical for the smudge wow that didn't smudge at all i have nothing to say about that absolutely gorgeous smell bring him in yes sniff that up you love to sniff that up huh? <laughs> yeah well too bad you didn't smell anything it smelled like nothing give that a one hurry up yeah, write it down. <laughs> Give it what it deserves. Just a one. The design. Okay. Show it. Show it off. Work it. Yes, girl. Absolutely slay. Okay. And that was a five because beautiful. Now let's add up all the points. Uh huh. That was um, a 19. I am so satisfied right now. Oh. Hello, it is me, Banana Boy. Just kidding, it's me. Okay, uh, that was not that smooth. Not very smooth. Let's let's give that a three. Yeah, write that down. Next, let's test the bleed. Are you bleeding? Are you bleeding? Let's see. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's good. I'll give it a four. It's not really bleeding. All right, you smudging? A, a little. But it's it's not too bad. We'll give it a three. Although, I don't know. The Sharpie was worse, and they got the same score. All right, what does it smell like? Huh? Huh, alien? It smells like nothing. You you get a one. It, it really needs more of a smell. Sharpies are the only sniffable object, really. Okay, let's look at the design. Oh, we can't even see it. Okay, now. Oh, okay, there we go. Wow, it bounces. Okay, it's hideous. It's hideous, guys. So it gets a one. Let's add up the totals. Uh, enjoy that really bad v video for a second, but it, it's a 12. It's, it's mid. Okay, next we got this pen. It makes this noise. 
and it's really smooth, but... Okay, now we got the bleep. Um... Yeah, it didn't really do anything, but even though it didn't bleed, we're giving it a four because it's stupid. For the, for the smudge. That was horrible. Imagine what your parents think of you. No wonder you made it in this video with all these other horrible ones. Dang. No smell. Okay, bring him in. Yeah, I know, I know. When I compliment her, she won't believe me. And it's so, it's so sad to think that she don't see what I Drugs? That's a one. We don't accept that on our family-friendly channel. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, yes, beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, yep, that's the brand. And that's a two, because it's so basic. You're not... You, you didn't bring anything new, girl. Really thought you did something. Oh, and um, overall satisfaction's a 15. Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, that's everything. And, um... Thanks for watching our stupid video. Yeah, oh... So violent. What does it do? Ask me, do I look okay? I say bye. Well, that's the end of the podcast. Um, if you made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. It means a lot to have someone, you know, actually listen to our rambling and our nonsense and watching a marker review. Even if it's just my brother. Thank you yeah. still. Th yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Um, hopefully there will be more episodes soon. And um yeah, we, we hope you stick around for those, too. So, yeah, we'll see you. And since you made it so far, we're going to reward you with a trailer for a little comic that we made. Um, it is called Human Hamburgers. It's, um, it's normal and not violent. Definitely okay. not. We'll see you next time. Please enjoy the trailer. Are you feeling hungry? I read this comic, and I couldn't sleep for three whole days. She looks innocent, but she has a dark side. It's coming. Bob, Bob, Bob. Coming to you.